Saban. General Ruto. Is this magic barrier a defense set up by Marble? Without it, we won't be able to stop the elite soldiers that are under humanity's control. But we have to break through it in order to get up the mountain. So, let's get started. Wait, someone's coming. You! Archon Serene! Mistress Minerva, and your noble warriors too, I see. Today is the Trinity Night. I know you'll be making your move. I don't suppose I could follow you and observe, could I? We could use all the help we can get, but... You won't go soft-hearted at the last minute, will you? I was going to ask you the same thing. 
<laughs> Watch your tongue. Stand back. I'm going to break it. more formidable than I thought it would be. The people of the plaza will be shocked. Hilda, please clear a path for us. We'll follow close behind. Leave it to me! I'm coming, father. Minerva, I think you already know this. There's something I'd like to... This is good enough. 
I have an idea that's better than killing.
aren't you cold? No. Look, Father. I can see the whole Vapus from here. The building with the blue roof is in Argus Plaza. And the one with the orange roof is in the Argus Bazaar, right? That's right. What about the outskirts? What else do you see? Um, oh, I can see the mine. You said before the art is from the mine, right? The black streets, to be precise. Is that it? That black and gray place? Yes, many miners come. You always hate them, though, and they seem to enjoy their work. So many come to thank our family after they become citizens. It's true. I treat them as equals, and they repay me with their hard work. I believe that only respect can build trust, which increases everyone's chance of success. But my reach is limited. It's all right, Father. When I grow up, I'll help you. We can work together to carry on your vision. Oh, you mean? I'm so proud of you.
You're here. I was starting to worry. I told you we'd catch up. We just met with a bit of trouble. What trouble? Some Templars appeared from behind. They may have been teleported here to take us by surprise. I'll go take care of... No, there's no time. Leave it to Bion and Evangelos. We must continue our ascent. The Mistress is right. Leave this to us. Evangelos. Don't worry, Saintus. Surviving is just one of my duties. I understand. May the three bless you. Let's go. Stop right there, all of you. There's still time to turn back. That voice, it's him. Ignore him, just keep moving. Humanities. I must admit I'm somewhat impressed by your foolish persistence, Minerva. To think you're actually standing with Serene. You truly are out of options, aren't you? It's possible, but perhaps I'm really no different from you. <laughs> and Hilda, why have you come? What's happened in Aphis has nothing to do with you. That's not true, and I know you won't just stop at this city. I also wanted to ask you. I have urgent business, so I'll give you time for only one question. I've heard much about you in Aphis, Senator Eumenides. But have you heard the people's true voices? Their unease towards you and... I've heard all there is to hear. And my conclusion is that every person has left me disappointed. Minerva, you still remember, do you not? I once said that the members of House Laurel chastise me for being too idealistic. Even you. Do you remember how you answered me back then? People are born ignorant and require rules to follow. But rules can teach people how to pursue an idea. You just think about breaking the rules. You don't think about whether or not these people are prepared to keep pace with you. But if we don't break the rules first, how will they know if they're prepared to keep pace with me? And those who can't keep up? Will you sacrifice them as you do with the people you judge? You couldn't answer me back then. Because at that time, I hadn't yet devised a method. Now, though, i finally come up with one. Like the Titan? If you take direct control over everyone's minds, there will be no issue of whether or not they can keep up, yes. How clever. People are born ignorant, after all. After witnessing true magic, I have come to agree with your sentiment. At least for the time being. I just hadn't anticipated that even you nor Serene would be able to keep up with me. You men. But now I see clearly. Since you cannot understand me, how could you possibly support my ideas? I will no longer seek agreement. May we meet again in the stars. Wait, what of the Northwind Legion, human? Where are they? And here I was thinking you didn't care about outsiders. Interesting. It seems I may be somewhat better even than you. Damn God! What did he mean just now? I'm not sure, but I have a bad feeling about this. No matter what happens, we'll face it together. Understood? Thank you. <laughs>
by the gods. He's controlled by humanities, just like the Templars. That monster! I feel his aura is different. Don't you agree, Minerva? I do. Unlike the Templars, the energy in his body is fighting back against the control. Arrhenius said that this condition is known as the Boundary. It's when the soul's been opened, forming a channel through which others can enter. Since it can be opened, naturally it can also be closed. How exactly is this done? Tranquilite is the key to the spell. If the channel between his soul and human's consciousness were closed, then he'd be freed. Understood. You'll cast the spell, and I'll support you. Hilda, Minerva and I will free Harold from human's control, but it's up to you to draw his attention. What should I do? Anything that grabs Harold's attention and weakens him will do. I believe you can do it. As for the rest, let us handle it. All right, and thank you both. Papa? Hill, why are you so obsessed? The north wind blows to the south. That's what you taught me. I can't turn back now. Besides, Papa, I'm certain you know that Eumenides is planning to use the Nexus's power to control everything. You must have stayed here because you were going to fight back against his scheming. You are the commander of the Northwind Legion! If he gets his way, everything we've done here will be meaningless. Our mission would be meaningless! Uh, uh, I must stop! I'm being forced to attack you! I'm not afraid to fight you, Papa. The adherents will free you from humidity's control. It's a miracle. It went even better than I anticipated. Your father's fine, Hilda. You can stop worrying now. Hi, the winds. I'm so... Thank you. My child. Come. Let me have a look at you. Papa! Don't look so sad. Are you all right? I told you to leave this place. No, I can't. Humanity still needs to be stopped. He has to pay for what he's done. By the winds, you're still so stubborn. I won't let- Commander, may I interject? Mistress Minerva. I hope you can understand that Hilda is the key to saving Aphis. I know you love your daughter dearly, but she's far more capable than you imagine. We can't do this without her. I'm sure you also understand that we must put a stop to humanity's plan, and we're running out of time. Besides, you can't continue to fight humanities in your current state. We were able to close the channel he used to control your soul only temporarily. If you get near him again, he could reopen it at any time. Ugh. Oh, may your mother forgive me. Hill, as commander, I order you to pursue Eumenides and stop his ritual. This is your new mission. Papa, 
Are you...? If his powers can affect all of Aphis, then they can also affect Ambari. This is his real desire. It's not just liberating a city. But I'll leave this matter to you now. Understood, Commander. I accept this mission. Good. Hild? By the way, Otto's with the Adherents now. He's doing well. Otto's still alive? That's wonderful. What about the others? Where are they? They're already on their way back. I watched them leave Aphis myself. Humanities knows I don't trust him, so he feared the Legion being here would hinder his plot. Once we finished what we'd agreed to, he couldn't wait to send the Northwind Legion out of the city, and I... I found an excuse to stay. Because I knew you were still here. And Humanities planned to use me against you. But in the end, I lost. Oh, Father. We'll be reunited with them soon. I swear it. Minerva said that your aura is really strange. Do you feel ill at all? I'm fine. Me attacking first must have worked. The Spellbreak Gem was quite useful after all. The Spellbreak Gem? Humanity's apparition must draw energy from the Nexus before it can take form. Because of that, he's vulnerable, as long as you disrupt the energy flow between them. I discovered that Marble was researching a device that could break the flow of magical energy. The whole time I was arranging for people to gather the materials and make it. But nobody knew what my true goal was. Humanities couldn't monitor us at all times, but that gave me the opportunity to finish it. I... I thought you just quietly accepted Humanities' dangerous ambitions. At the time, I had no choice but to tell you that. The fewer people who knew, the better. I understand. I understand everything now, Father. When I was in the Glittering Deeps, I was so stupid. Worrying about you, insisting on staying in Aphis. You don't need to apologize. I'd thought of everything, but I didn't anticipate that your stubbornness would lead to the final chance to fight back against Humanities. You plan to rebel against Humanities from the start? Rebelling against Humanities was just the consequence, not the goal. In order to ensure that the objective of Operation Ashwin could be achieved, I had to consider lots of possible follow-up measures. What makes the Northwind Legion elite? is that we don't just look at how things appear on the surface. I was sure to make arrangements. Arrangements? So you mean our comrades who left have other tasks? Lifting the King's curse was just one objective. We also need to eliminate the possibility that the Ephesians' curse could harm others. The timeline's a little messy. All I can say is that when I realized what the real threat was, I started to plan. But if word that I failed makes its way back to Ambari, Ludwig will immediately start preparations for a battle against Aphis and Humanities. And if that comes to pass, it will be a terrifying war of magic. Hild, today you've given us a new chance. By the winds, I will stop him! This spellbreak gem was damaged in the battle with Humanities. Although it can't harm him anymore, he should be considerably weaker now. Take it. It's no longer any use as a weapon, but it can still provide some protection. Free of class division. You're just like the others. 
ignorant and foolish. This isn't over. I will not risk allowing you to become a threat to Anbari. <laughs> you underestimate the power of the Nexus. I was going to reunite you with your family on the Trinity night. But now is as good a time as any.
overcome that matter with your father, haven't you? There aren't many people of your age who possess such a strong will. Looking at you, I'm reminded of how I was back then. Idealistic, self-confident, believing I could do anything. Why have you come here now, though? Is it for justice? For peace? Or for yourself? I could ask you the same thing. If everyone is against you, why not just let them carry on as they are? You don't know what I've seen here. I've seen the possibility of a better world, one that can make everyone happier. Who would be happier? Can you even understand what happiness is as you are now? If you truly care about Minerva, then you should know how she feels right now! How can you possibly look at her face and tell me she's happy? I... I'm not... I'm asking you, are you truly even Eumenides? I'm... No, of course I'm... I am still Eumenides. So you haven't changed. I believe you. But the Nexus is influencing your actions. It's made you think you don't need your humanity. Now that you've seen Minerva, though, there's no way you can still believe it. No! Silence! I was wrong. I shouldn't be talking about these things with you. You're disrupting my will, influencing me. Why do you do this? Because even through this whole mess, someone's cared about you through it all. And I promised her that I'd beat the living daylights out of you so she won't have to. You mean to tell me that's the only reason you came here? <laughs> How utterly foolish.
Looks like Harold's device is taking effect. Minerva, he's... It's all right now, child. He can't cast another spell. Give in, Eumenides. The current you will soon be free from your delusion. Even if you create another apparition, you won't be able to do it before we carry out the ritual. We've won. <sighs> that does seem to be the case. And me, Minerva. And the Nexus. I've spent so much energy trying to change this world. Oh, truly, it's been too much. So much that I can't accept my failure. Maybe you're right. Maybe I've already changed. Have you forgotten who I am? If we're going to talk about the mistakes you've made, then you and I are the same. Sins committed as a human being must be atoned for as a human being. If you die, then I promise that nobody will forgive you. But if you live, then perhaps you still have time to mend some wounds. I... No. I can't do that. You can. And you'll do it because I will be beside you. Don't, Minerva. I would rather hurt you, make an enemy of you, than be killed by you. Just kill me now. At least you will become a hero. Human, you've always borne your burdens on your own and decided what's best for me. But just this once, you must let me decide. <sighs> done all that I wish to do. Next, we do what we need to do. Once we place the relics on the Nexus Array, this will all be over. Let me know once you've set up the relics. I'll wait until you're through. of being too sentimental. Hilda, all of this is due to your hard work. Thank you. We did this together. You did well too. <laughs> you really know how to push your luck, child. Uh, hey, I just noticed. Your necklace, it looks a lot like mine. It's true. Do you remember what I once told you? That the necklace is a token? Memento is one of House Laurel's greatest pieces of craftsmanship, and it was once used as proof of the House's bloodline. Huh? Wait, does that mean I might be the descendant of an Ephesian? Will you return to Anbari now? Yes, but I... I'll really miss you. I... yes, as will I. Thank you. 